So when I get the brief from a brand, uh, I look very carefully what they tell me about the purpose of the scent, or even more importantly for me, I look a lot at the feeling they want to convey to the people, either about the brand or about their space. Some of that feeling will be given by the brand with some adjectives or some attributes. I try to find some what I call some cool factors that are going to make people smile or people interested or show people that there is expertise in there or that we actually really understand the feeling that has to transpire from that space. So the first thing I think about is the emotion, the feeling I want to create and also the, the more obvious signals that I want people to uh, get when they smell the scent. You can see how a location could smell of a pina colada or a location could smell of just a nice beautiful wood or it could smell of a very nice fireplace feeling, you know, like in a resort, a ski resort or even uh, in a beautiful hotel in the city. I sit down at a scale and uh, I write a formula or I start mixing the ingredients. You may have from uh, 20 to 80 ingredients. So it's just like building a building. You have to have a structure. So inside the scent, we are going to have elements that might not participate in the overall smell of the fragrance, but will participate in the, in the brightness of the fragrance or in the robustness of the fragrance or in the diffusion of the fragrance. So for instance, you want the, the fragrance to really diffuse in the air. And uh, when we use the scent diffusers, the high-end scent diffusers that we now have at our disposal, they respect totally the fragility and the beauty of those ingredients. And I love to show how with the air we can do things in fine fragrances. And of course, my whole background in fine fragrances helps me a lot to create very nice things for the air.